Hello, ladies. Sorry I'm late, but my clock. <laughs> Hello, oh, ladies. Uh, sorry I'm late, but my clock. I didn't. I looked at my clock wrong. I thought I still had about 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> and I looked at it again and I said, oh, my God, these ladies are going to wonder what happened to me. <laughs> Let's see, we've got Connie, T. Sharon. Where's everybody? We got Susan. I don't see Glad there's Gladys. Oh now, Gladys said her pad fell and it's broke. <laughs> you said it's turning off and on, but it's st I'm still watching. I'm so sorry. And there's Rylan. Hello. Welcome. I was trying to take a short nap so I wouldn't be so wore out when it started and I had set my alarm on my phone, but it didn't go off. <laughs> I kept hearing a funny beeping, so that must have been it, but it didn't it didn't sound like it was supposed to, so oh well, <laughs> so much for that. So what's everybody been up to? There's Miss Weaver. Hello, Miss Weaver. I'm so glad you could make it tonight. Miss Weaver, you know, her, her sister has been really sick. I think she was diagnosed with cancer and she didn't tell any of the family for over a year and a half. And I think Miss Weaver said it just six weeks ago, they found out that she had cancer. So, of course, you know, the whole family's just turned upside down over that. And she's got a GoFundMe. I was going to copy the GoFundMe link and post it in case anybody wanted it. Let's see. Well, I can't do it right now. But, yeah, her sister has a GoFundMe. And I think Miss Weaver said that it was, um, I couldn't find it on her Facebook page, but she said it, there was a link to it on her first, at Miss Weaver's Facebook book page. I can't talk. <laughs> so if anybody wanted to uh, go there and check it out, they can. I know they told us we were going to get rain today. And it has, like, lightly rained. I mean, it's lightly sprinkling now enough to where there's water dripping off the porch top, but it really hasn't rained hard or anything. It's enough that the ground's wet. I think it's starting to rain now. So it started later than expected. I thought it was going to be, like, mid-afternoon. And we only got a couple of sprinkles. But I can hear it falling now, so I know my garden's loving that. Yeah, we, we all need to pray for her sister. And I think she's only like 52. I think that's what Miss Weaver said. So she's, you know, she's not old enough for all this to be going on. And I don't know if any of you had thought to check out uh, Anna's mobile home life, but she um, was supposed to be moved out of the hospital into a uh, rehab facility. Because she's not well enough to be home by herself. So they sent her to a rehab to where she can get the care she needs. 
until she's able to go home. And she is posting updates of her own. So if you'll look on uh, Anna's mobile home life, her channel, you'll see the updates because she's doing her own updates right now. Hi, Nancy. I'm fine. How are you? Bad one headed your way, Radar, showing you're right at the leading edge. Well, it's starting to rain right now. Because it's raining hard enough, I hear it. <laughs> and that's the first time today it, it's rained hard enough that you could hear it raining. Yeah, that's why uh, Cynthia has not been um, in live chat. Is because, like I said, like I mean, put yourself in her position. If you had a sister that was 52 years old, and you just found out six weeks ago she had terminal cancer or basically, you know, basically a terminal illness like that. And that she's had it for a year and a half and she didn't tell any of the family. And they'd been busy going back and forth to doctors and different things with her and trying to get, um, I think they got the, the GoFundMe set up. They've got uh, government assistance, I think, some for her. Because she had no insurance and she didn't even tell her family. But hopefully she'll get the care she needs now and, and it'll be covered. But I did want to mention that to you. So if anybody wanted to check out the GoFundMe, um, there is one there for her. Susan said, hi there. I just got home from doing laundry. I haven't done my laundry. <laughs> I was just thinking I might need to throw a load in the washing machine tomorrow. I haven't started my spring cleaning yet either. It took me a good day to get over cutting my doors off. <laughs> that is some of the hardest wood I've ever tried to cut through in my life. You're welcome, Miss Weaver. I don't mind at all. But yeah, I've cut through wood before, but none, none, no wood has been as hard to cut as those door bottoms. <laughs> I don't know if it's. Uh, Hardwood, as they call it, but I know it's that really hard wood to cut, and they had to make my doors out of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I put a couple of loads in last week, but I haven't done any more. But I'll probably have to throw a load in the washer tomorrow. Yeah, we were worried about Anna, too, because they had her. We heard that. Um, I don't know what was going on, but she was on life support at one time. And we heard that they were going to take her off life support like at six that evening. So we didn't know what to think, what to expect. Because, you know, usually when somebody's put on life support, that means it's the end. And usually when they pull the plug on the life support, you're gone. But with her, it wasn't the case. If she was on life support, they took her off of it because she was getting better, which was, you know, great. I mean, I was so happy to hear that. Oh, what is wrong with my screen up here? started to dim for some reason and there's ann ann watson hello ann and you know ann just had her surgery so 
She's recovering from her surgeries. They're not new. <laughs> These, they're artificial flowers. And there's some that were on uh, the other corner of my living room. I've got this bunch of, of flowers and then I've got another vase of flowers over there. I'll probably switch the other one up here for next week. Let me let little buddy in. He is going crazy at the door. And I'm going to have to buy a little buddy a bowl because I broke his bowl. <laughs> I'll have to go back to giving you a, a red bowl, little buddy, till I buy you another one. Yeah, I will. Come on, little buddy. I had to go back to using a, a red bowl. Here you go. He's had a hard day. He's been outside asleep in the swing. You know, on that sweet swing outside with the cushions in it. Oh, it's raining down really hard now. But no, I was cleaning up from a cooking video I did today, and I dropped my glass cup, measuring cup. Didn't break the measuring cup, but it landed on his bowl, and it broke his bowl almost in half. So I had to throw it away. So he's back to using plastic, a plastic bowl for now till I can get him another one. <laughs> Which he don't mind as long as it's, you know, he can eat out of it. I had got it used uh, one of the heavy ceramic bowls. So when he eats, it wouldn't slide along the floor. <laughs> or slide across the porch when I'd feed him. And it was working great till I broke it. <laughs> yeah, he's over here. Chowing down. I don't know if I can show you or not he's chowing down there <laughs> like i said he's worked hard he's he slept in the, the swing out there all day long <laughs> The link for Mrs. Weaver's sister is in my last message if anyone is interested. Oh, thanks, Connie. I meant to get that, and I was going to post it myself. And I forgot all about getting it before the live. And then, like I said, my alarm didn't go off, and I just didn't even think about it. I was so late getting on here. You're in a lot of pain, Ann. I'm sorry. You need to tell them doctors to give you some better pain medication. When I had my surgery on my neck and my lower back, I had both surgeries in one week. I went in on Monday, came in on Friday, come home Friday. And my doctor 
I don't remember what kind of pain medication it was, but it was pills. I had enough of that pain medicine to take for five weeks. And by the time the pain medicine wore, you know, ran out, I was in no pain, so I didn't need it anymore. But for five, the whole five weeks after I had surgery, I didn't hurt at all. But it was because of the medicine. And there's April. Hello, April. It's starting to rain here. <laughs> you sent the, the rain from Hawaii to Texas. Yeah, where would I be without my moderators? Because I was I had it in my mind that I was going to post that link tonight. And then I it just slipped my mind with everything. Yeah, I'm rotating flowers and stuff for the backdrop, but they're not new. <laughs> they're all stuff that I had, just like my clothes. You know, you might think I've got had new clothes on in some of my videos. They're not. They're a couple of years old or older. It's just I've been rotating clothes in the closet if I can still wear them. <laughs> I figured the other day if I can wear them, I need to go ahead and wear them because I'm gaining so much weight. I may not be able to wear them next month, you know. <laughs> and there's Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How's Kevin doing in vegan menu? Hello. Now he won't say, uh-uh-uh, quit, quit. We're scratching the door. He said he got his belly full. He's ready to go back out. <laughs> Crazy cat. Oh, baby. You can tell I took a nap. I still want to sleep. <laughs> In fact, I, I was planning on, as soon as the alarm went off, I was going to get up and fix me a good strong cup of coffee. And you see what happened? My alarm didn't go off. I was 15 minutes late getting on my live. <laughs> so I didn't fix no coffee. You had to come in and eat. Well, good, April. Any excuse to be able to watch our live and get in live chat. I had shampooed my hair and it's still, I put it up in a ponytail because it was falling everywhere trying to do my video. And the ponytail part up in here, the hair is still wet. And the Sandman has been hitting you hard too lately, vegan menu. Yeah, we all hope that Anne's soon feels better from that surgery. And we're all praying for Miss Cynthia Weaver's sister. And there's Mariah. Hello, Mariah. Welcome. Glad to have you in chat this evening. I don't know what is going on with my phone. 
It just went blank. Hopefully I didn't lose y'all. I don't know what's going on with it. And there's Linda Blaylock. Hello, Linda. How is Linda this evening? It is really raining. It's just coming down hard out there now. And all my seeds are popping up out of the ground and out of the totes and the buckets. And it's just so awesome to see everything popping out of the ground from seeds and stuff. I'm going to put me a cup of water in the microwave and I'm going to fix me a cup of coffee right quick. I do not want to fall asleep or sit here and yawn through my whole trivia. Miss <laughs> Weaver said, good idea, me too. <laughs> well, I don't want to drink a cup too late, but if I drink one now, I'll still be able to go to sleep later tonight. But it might help me keep from yawning through all this trivia tonight. <laughs> Susan says, Linda, I have a question, but I think I got the answer already. Just want your opinion. Go ahead and ask, Susan. I'm sitting here. I'm going to go into change. Going to change into my slippers instead of my shoes. Linda, it's perfectly okay. I can help you and Miss Weaver and her, her beautiful sister. <laughs> what was the question, Susan? Connie got her her uh, necklace finally. She said she loves her uh, life, tree of life necklace. And Shelly got her ring. She loves that. She sent me a picture of it on her finger or on her hand. <laughs> But it's so funny. Little Buddy loves it outside. 
even when it's raining like this, he knows he can go outside and stay under the patio and get up in that swing and lay down and go to sleep and he's not in the rain. <laughs> so unless it's freezing cold, that's where he likes to be. He'll come in and eat and he's right back out. From my surgery, I had a lot of fluid build up, 10 extra pounds to more I go to congestive heart failure clinic to get it taken off oh wow i'm so sorry you're having to go through that ann and there's barb hanley hello welcome to chat Y'all drink a cup of coffee with me. I got two cups right there. I love using these little jars with the handles for a coffee cup because it keeps your coffee hot longer. I can use my ceramic cups. And by the time I get two sips of it, my coffee's cold. But I can put it in this little jar with the handle. It stays hot for a long time. Yeah, really. At least, you know, they can help her and relieve some of that fluid to where she's. Hopefully that'll help part of her problem. Yeah, any of these medical procedures that we have to go through nowadays is scary. Look how many people passed away years and years ago because they didn't know, even know what the illness was. Oh, I'm so sorry, Anna. Or Ann Watson. She cries a lot. She's just not strong. Well, it's okay to cry. You can be strong and still cry, and that's perfectly fine. So don't feel bad if you cry, because, I mean, uh, you know, any of us, if we were going through what you're going through right now, we would be worried to death. We'd be stressed. And crying is a way that you can relieve some of that. So don't worry about it. Just cry when you need to. Yeah, we all need to pray for Anne. We need to pray for Cynthia's um, sister. We need to pray for Anna for mobile home life. A lot of these ladies, even some of the ladies in this, this chat right now, are going through a lot of health issues. Connie goes through a lot. Gladys is going through a lot of health issues. Yeah, just know that you'll make it through it. They say the good Lord doesn't put any more on us than we can handle. Sometimes I wonder about that, you know, because I think sometimes he puts more on me than I can deal with. But I'm still here. <laughs> Exactly, Connie. Crying does not mean you're not strong. Exactly. It's a healing to cry and not hold all that stress and frustration that you feel and almost hopelessness and everything else that you're, you're feeling inside that makes you cry. So don't feel bad about crying. You had big, big health issues in 2011. I've probably cried five times today. Oh, no, April. 
And there's Joyce. Hello, Joyce Reynolds. How is, well, what is wrong with my, I don't know what the deal is, but my camera keeps cutting out for some reason. That's the second time it's done that, and I don't know why it's doing it. If I lose y'all, don't worry. I'll just start another live and just look for the new live to come up. <laughs> That's all I know to tell you. But I'm warning you in advance because my camera just went blank black twice the screen did and it's never done that before so i don't know what's going on with it i've got got it plugged in so i know there's juice going to it it's, it's not dying <laughs> i don't know why it's going black on me Yeah, you can re relieve a lot of stress and stuff when you cry. And hi, Mary. How is Mary this evening? You know, someone I have not seen in chat lately is Miss Quinn. And there's a few other ones that have not been coming into chat. And I don't know why. Yo Boy Pizza official. <laughs> Hi there, Yo Boy Pizza. Where's my pizza? I need a pepperoni. <laughs> How's Yo Boy doing this evening? Well, thank you, Joyce. I love it, too. That's why I'm out there working in it all the time. <laughs> and I've just got a feeling my garden is going to be a lot different this year than it was last year. Because I called them and got on them and told them, you know, I said, I'm tired of having to take a little old bucket around because I can't pick up a full five gallon bucket to water with. And I said, I have to take one smaller than that. And then only have one day to water. And you only have certain hours that day. And I said, I'm watching my plants die. Like other people have underground drip hoses going 24-7 and everything else. I said, this is ridiculous. You know what? The next water bill I got, it still had the mandatory rationing on the back of it. But they lifted the part where you can only use a five-gallon bucket. They said, now I can use my garden hose to water with. <laughs> so on my watering day, I'm going to be using my garden hose. In between then, I'll be using my compost tea. So hopefully I'll be able to keep everything watered good this year. Plus, if the rain holds out, and we get some good rain off and on throughout the summer. That's going to help tremendously. We didn't get any rain last summer. To make it even worse, we didn't get rain at all, hardly. Please know it means so much to someone like me that's unable to do a garden. Well, I'm so glad that you're watching, Joyce. I know I've gotten a lot of compliments from ladies saying that they can't, they're not physically able to garden anymore. And they love watching me with my garden and everything growing and, you know, all the outdoors stuff. <laughs> and I enjoy it. That's why I do it. It's a lot of work, but I'll have a garden some way or another until I can't walk anymore. <laughs> I'll be physically not able to deal with it anymore before I don't have a garden. Because I like, I mean, I just love to grow things. It, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's a tree, a bush, a vegetable, I just love to grow. And 
I find it so amazing that these little seeds, they want to grow. They try so hard to grow. <laughs> and they'll produce for you if you keep them watered and you keep nutrition to them and all that. Yeah, it is good exercise. It forces me to get out and move around during the day instead of just sit around and do nothing since I'm retired, you know. I thought I'd show you what our prize is tonight. It's a pair of earrings for pierced ears. Aren't they pretty? They're silver. And they got hearts and stuff on them. They're really pretty, I think. There's hearts all the way around it. So that's going to go to some lucky winner tonight. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty. I love them. And I have pierced ears, but... I always wear these little studs. I don't ever take them out often. I don't ever put any more on. Seem like years ago, I change earrings for every outfit. <laughs> now I don't. I just leave these little studs in and that's it for me. get enough of that caffeine to get me awake. <laughs> you know what? It's it's going to be Easter in two weeks. Y'all even realize that? It will be Easter in two weeks. Oh, I hear it thundering. It's okay, as long as it don't get too bad. <laughs> Are y'all get ready to get playing? Or you want to chat a while longer? Well, I don't know. I mentioned trivia and I've lost two people already. <laughs> well, maybe you'll win these earrings, Ann. Yeah, I had so many earrings years ago, it was not funny. I had earrings for every single outfit. I had earrings for outfits that I may have. <laughs> I just had tons of earrings. Okay, let's get busy. What does D-A-R-E stand for? Dare. What does DARE stand for? Yeah, they may. We had one gentleman that was in here last time, and he said he had a lot of fun, so I told him to come back again tonight, but I don't see him. I, don't, I haven't seen him in chat. I don't know what's going on with my phone.
it keeps going black on me for the screen does <laughs> you know it what does dare mean they have dare programs in all the schools now drugs yep i'm gonna give gladys a point for that It's a, a program. It's a program uh, where they teach people about drug abuse resistance education is what it is. No, it's drugs. It's called drug abuse resistance education. That's what DARE is. What celebrity couple walked the red carpet at the 2001 VMAs in matching denim outfits? We've asked this many times before. Who was the couple? Okay, I'm gonna give Gladys a point for that because she's got Brittany. Who was the who was the person she was with? Miss Weaver. It was uh, Brittany Spears and Justin Timberlake. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop whoop, Miss Weaver. <laughs> Yeah, I know you meant Britney Spears, even though it was misspelled at the end. Sometimes I, I do that and make a typo error. I mean, I mean to hit the S and I hit the D by mistake. Which kid's place features the slogan where a kid can be a kid? This was one of my granddaughter's favorite places to go when she was just little. When she was old enough to know you could go out to eat somewhere, this is one of her favorite places. What kids place featured the slogan where a kid can be a kid. Chunky cheese, Miss Weaver. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Woo -woo. You may just very well get those earrings tonight. What band had a major hit with their 1986 album, Brothers in Arms? What band had a major hit with their 1986 album, Brothers in Arms? in arms You might can see these better against the white backdrop there. That's the silver earrings that are going as the prize tonight. They're little hoop earrings with hearts on them. Yeah, I hope my phone stays on. My camera stays on it. It's went black on me twice already. 
Dire Straits, Miss Weaver, way to go. Okay, we asked this the other night. Super Tramp's biggest album was Breakfast in Where? Super Tramp's biggest album was Breakfast in Blank. Susan, you said you had a question to ask earlier. I, I never did see the question come up. Not New York City, Gladys. <laughs> Y'all should remember from last week. It was asked last week. Not Paris. <laughs> well, I just got back from the neighbor visiting and way behind. LOL. <laughs> I'm still looking for your question, Susan. <laughs> America, Miss Weaver, way to go. <laughs> Not breakfast at Tiffany's. You might thought might have thought that because. I probably would have thought it. <laughs> Glad it says my backyard. <laughs> Jess's boyfriend made me cabbage, onion, mushroom, and sausage slices. Would it freeze okay? It might. I've never, I'll have to be honest, I've never frozen cabbage I don't see why it would not freeze but I've never frozen cabbage so I can't tell you yes or no really <laughs> and yo boy pizza is back where you been <laughs> And there's Kathy 2010. Oh, well, you know what? I just Googled it and it said it's perfectly fine to freeze cooked cabbage. So there, there's your answer, Susan. But it says if it's, it's cooked, it'll last a long time frozen. I just Googled it because I didn't know. I've never frozen cabbage. Well, I thought that was your question. You said not frozen. Yeah, I froze. I mean, I didn't freeze my cabbage soup. My, I canned it. I've got it in jars. But I just looked it up and it said it's perfectly fine to freeze cooked cabbage. I assume you're saying that they gave you something that was already cooked, right? The sausage and onions and cabbage. But yeah, they say it's perfectly fine. What is wrong with my camera? Keeps wanting to go to sleep on me. Yeah, my cabbage soup. I'll show you.
I still got some of it. I haven't eaten it all yet. I canned it in jars. <laughs> Because I had so much of it, I just, there was no way I could eat it all. And I have taken out a jar or two of it already and eaten it. <laughs> You're starting a new language, Susan. <laughs> Uh, it's not hard to do. Now there, I don't, I can't can everything. I don't can meat because to can meat, you've got to have one of those pressure cooker canners, and I don't have one of those. I just water bath my canning, and that consists of I can make pickles, my cowboy candy, uh, chow chow. Uh, like the cabbage soup, you can, I can can tomatoes. I can basically do anything as if it's a vegetable, I just can't can meat. I've got a neighbor that's close to the lake down here. I've stopped by her house one day because someone told me that she would take a carp and I had caught this huge carp and my ex-husband always told me that there were garbage fish, nobody would eat them. And they said, oh, no, don't you throw it away. Take it to this lady. Well, I took it down there to her. You know what she was doing? She had one of those great big pressure cooker canners on her stove, and it was full of jars of carp. She said, I can. Every one I get my hands on. She said, I take it out, and I make my fish cakes, my all anything that you would take um, salmon or mackerel or tuna to make she makes it with her carp because it's a big old fish i mean great big fish kathy let me go back and see maybe i missed one of your yeah i saw your your post kathy you said hi y'all and i said hi kathy <laughs> Y'all tell Kathy hello. She's feeling left out. Nobody's said hello to her. Oh, you want a pressure canner? I've never tried to, to can meat because I don't, you know, I don't grow my meat. I don't have cows and pigs and uh, beef and all that that I slaughter here. So I don't ever can it. I always canned everything that came out of the garden and that just needs water bath and you can do that in basically any great big pot you don't even need a regular canner to do it and there's peter there well hello peter you're almost a stranger i'm glad you could come in tonight yeah carp has a lot of bones but the way she cans it you know how the bones are in salmon, in a can of salmon? That's the way the bones are in that carp when she gets through with it. So if you eat a bone, it's not going to kill you because it'll just, it crumbles up. Yeah, because it, you know it's going to stay longer in your jars. You don't have to worry about the electricity going out and that type of thing. That's the only thing I worry about having a freezer full of food behind me because mine is full. It, it's just, I can't get anything else in there. That's the only thing that worries me about that is, you know, if the electricity goes off long enough and everything melts in there, well, I'll lose everything in the, in the freezer. But so far, it's not happened here. I love fish too, Peter. Even that week-long snowstorm we had, they had our power was on hour, off hour, 24-7 that whole week, on hour, off an hour. So it kept everybody's freezers frozen. <laughs> I 
But yeah, when I first started gardening out here, I had so many jars of pickles because I, I had so many zucchini and squash, yellow squash and cucumbers. I was pickling all of them. I had zucchini and squash pickles. I had cucumber pickles. <laughs> I had my jalapenos that I was making my cowboy candy with. My problem is, is where am I going to put my jars? <laughs> I don't want to put them in the shed because if it freezes, it'll freeze the jar and it might break the jar. So once you you can something in a jar, you need to keep it in a, a area where it's going to stay at room temperature. It's not going to get freezing or, you know, way too hot on it. And it'll keep for a long time in a jar. <laughs> I just emptied my freezer side colder than the. I was cooking, started having lower chest pain. Oh, no, Kathy. Yeah, well, I do that, you know, but I'd have to get an awfully big cooler. I'd have to get several coolers because that's got a lot of food in that freezer behind me. You might not, I've heard people say that upright freezers don't hold as much as a chest freezer. Well, if you know how to stack it in there, I, I'll guarantee you, you can get just as much in a uh, upright freezer as you can a chest freezer. Well, thank you. My um, anonymous giver sent me that sign back there that's on the freezer. She was also the one that gave me the freezer, had the freezer sent to me. Okay, our next question for these beautiful earrings. Well, they just slid down in the package. So, What was Skipper's nickname for Gilligan in Gilligan's Island? Y'all ought to know that. Gladys, you know it. What was Skipper's nickname for Gilligan in Gilligan's Island? Little buddy, Miss Weaver got it first. <laughs> Way to go, Miss Weaver. Y'all all know this. It's in the commercials every day. Everybody drinks it. It says fill in the blanks. I'm a blank. He's a blank. She's a blank. We're a blank. Wouldn't you like to be a blank too? What word goes in the blank? Pepper, T. Sharon. T.T. Sharon, way to go. I love the English. <laughs> yeah, if it if you get any more pains, I wouldn't hesitate going to the ER. My first husband died of a heart attack. And for two weeks, his sister said he'd been complaining of his uh, arm hurting, his chest hurting. I don't know what is with my camera. But he for two weeks, he he complained of his arm hurting, his chest aching. And he thought it was because he went to the ocean fishing with a friend because he'd never been to the ocean before fishing. And, you know, they were casting off the beach. And he thought he just got sore muscles from that. And he's the kind of person that will not go to the doctor. 
Well, my sister-in-law lived right beside him and she cooked breakfast for him one morning, took it to him, left him sitting at the kitchen table eating his breakfast. She went back to her house right beside him, cleaned up her kitchen and, you know, did one thing or another. And then a little while later, she went back over to his house to check on him, to pick up the dirty dishes and that type of thing. And just that quick, she stepped in, opened the door to go in the kitchen and found him in the floor. He fell out of the floor, sitting there eating breakfast and died of a heart attack just that quick. So see, he was having signs of that for two weeks and he ignored it. If he would went on to the doctor and had it checked out, he'd probably still be alive. So when you get chest pains, I mean, I know anybody can have a chest pain or two and then it goes away and it nothing comes of it. But if you have some now and then later on, say later on tonight, you have more, then you need to get it checked out. Don't wait and end up having a heart attack. Did my answer show up? Yeah, but you weren't the first one that came in. <laughs> I see where you had put in pepper. But T. Sharon was just ahead of you. You came in second. Sorry about that, Kathy. <laughs> what popular TV show starred the Fonz? What popular TV show starred the Fonz? I used to love to watch that show. Happy days, Kathy 2010. Way to go, Kathy. Whoop, whoop, Kathy. Now, y'all know this one. Oh, my nose is itching. Which movie starring John Travolta helped popularize disco music? Which movie starring John Travolta helped popularize Disco music. Not Grease. I bet I watched this movie 50 times. Saturday Night Fever, Kathy 2010. Woo <laughs> Way to go, Kathy. No, Staying Alive was uh, one of the songs. I think it was the theme song of the movie, wasn't it? Staying Alive. <laughs> Kat, Susan says, you guys are answering before I even hear the question. Oh, my gosh. What horror movie caused people to faint and leave the theater in 1973? What horror movie caused people to faint and leave the theater in 1973? Exorcist, Mrs. Weaver got it. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop, whoop. Not Jason Gladys, it was the exorcist. Yep, it sure did. That was their theme song for the movie, I think it was, Staying Alive. And every time I hear Staying Alive, I picture John Travolta strutting his stuff down the sidewalk. What cultural icon starred in Rebel Without a Cause? 
what cultural icon starred in Rebel Without a Cause? Y'all know all these. And there's Shatika. Hey, Shatika. Blessings to you. Glad you could make it. Dean, the vegan menu. It was James Dean. Way to go, vegan menu. Whoop, whoop. Okay, this is a true or false. Well, I think your pad is rubbing off on my camera, Gladys, because my camera keeps going black. And it scares me because I'm thinking it cut my video off. And I don't know why it's doing that. True or false, over half of all boomers Plan to work past 65. True or false? Over half of all boomers plan to work past age of 50, 65. True, Miss Weaver got it. Way to go, Miss Weaver. She's wanting those earrings. <laughs> Connie says, <laughs> my fingers have a mind of their own. <laughs> yeah, I've got about seven or eight trues, but Miss Weaver came in first. In what movie does Clint Eastwood say, go ahead and make my day? I love this movie. I've watched it several times. In what movie does Clint Eastwood say, go ahead and make my day? Dirty Harry, Kathy 2010. Whoop, whoop. What popular Disney film are the Sanderson sisters in? What popular Disney film are the Sanderson sisters in? Pocus Pocus, Miss Weaver. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Woo -woo. <laughs> now, I know y'all know this one. What movie asked, who you gonna call? <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> what movie asked, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters, Miss Weaver. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Way to go, Miss Weaver. What MTV show helped launch modern reality TV? What MTV show helped launch modern reality TV? Not Big Brother. Nope, not Jersey Shore. Real world, Shatika. Way to go, Shatika. Whoop, whoop.
You have a point to Shatika that was the real world. What TV network likes to slime people? What TV network likes to slime people? T. Sharon, Nickelodeon. She just had Nick, but I know that's what she meant. And then Miss Weaver come in second with it. <laughs> I know y'all know this. My granddaughter could tell you this. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? It's lightning out there now. SpongeBob, Miss Weaver. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Y'all like my whoop, whoop? <laughs> yep, it was SpongeBob, but that Miss Weaver got it first. And then T. Sharon, then Shatika. We need more cowbell, was said on a skit from what show. And there's Snow White. Hey, Snow White, welcome. You love my whoop whoop. <laughs> Trying to get these earrings out so I can show them. To the people just coming in, this is what the prize is tonight. It's a pair of silver earrings for pierced ears. And they have hearts around them. They're really pretty, I think. And Miss Weaver wants some bad. She's she's ahead right now. T. Sharon, I know she's she's got S N T for Saturday Night Live, or S N L. So I guess T. Sharon's got it. Way to go, T. Sharon. And I see several other people come in with it right after her. In what movie did Al Pacino say, hello to my little friend? In what movie did Al Pacino say, Say hello to my little friend. I love that movie. Not Godfather. Scarface, T. Sharon. Whoop, whoop, T. Sharon. It was Scarface. Who is the queen of soul? Who is the queen of soul? Aretha Franklin, T. Sharon. Whoop, whoop, way to go, Sharon. <laughs> Y'all ought to know this too, because we've asked it several times in the trivias in the past. 
At one of their concerts, which president did the Dixie Chicks say they were ashamed of? At one of their concerts, which president did the Dixie Chicks say they were ashamed of? Not Clinton. No, not Clinton. Bush, KD. It was uh, George W. Bush. And I did see you in here earlier, KD. Well, welcome. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> yeah, welcome, KD. Glad you could make our trivia tonight. The voices of the donkey. Who voices the donkey in Shrek? Who voices the donkey in Shrek? KB said she just got home. <laughs> Eddie Murphy, Miss Weaver. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop, whoop. True or false? The mail used to be delivered twice a day. True or false? The mail used to be delivered twice a day. T. Sharon, true. Way to go. <laughs> yep, she's on fire tonight. <laughs> she wants those ear these earrings. <laughs> what MTV show featured celebrity kids having an epic birthday party? What MTV show featured celebrity kids having epic birthday parties? <laughs> Not Jersey Shore. What MTV show featured celebrity kids having epic birthday parties? It was the sweet 16, and I know that's what Gladys meant. So Gladys got it. Way to go, Gladys. It was my super sweet 16. What does the acronym FOMO stand for f-o-m-o -O. my camera just went off again i don't know why it's doing that fear of missing out miss weaver way to go What is Jed Clampett's catchphrase in the Beverly Hillbillies? What was the one thing he said more than anything? What is Jed Clampett's catchphrase in the Beverly Hillbillies?
T. Sharon, way to go. It was well doggies. She said we doggies, but I know she meant well doggies. So T. Sharon got it. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> What popular disco nightclub was located at 254 West 54th Street in New York? What popular disco nightclub was located at 254 West 54th Street in New York? It was called Studio 54, but I'm going to give it to T. Sharon for Club 54. Way to go, T. Sharon. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Trump Tower. <laughs> oh, I was watching a video on. Uh... Oh, what is the name of the place where Trump lives in Miami um, I can't remember the name of it but oh my god this this place is huge he's turned part of it into like a an elite club for paid members where they have swimming pools tennis courts they get their food there's a, a ballroom, everything right on site. And he has a wing of his own. There it is, Marilago Mar or whatever. Marilago. I could not believe that place. That was unreal. They said everything that glitters gold in there was real gold plate. He had three sinks worth like $50,000. <laughs> gold plated sinks i mean can you imagine that place was i mean it just spells money to look at it but he brings in millions from that place every year uh running it as a private club and he's opened it to blacks whites um gays lesbians it doesn't matter as long as they've got the money to pay the the fee to to be a member, they're welcome. What cartoon features Cartman, Kenny, Stan, and Kyle? What cartoon features Cartman, Kenny, Stan, and Kyle? South Park, Miss Weaver. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm not sure I can pronounce this name, but Steve Wozniak, Ronald Wayne, and Steve Jobs are the founders of what company? Apple, T. Sharon, way to go. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Who are the three members of the Jonas Brothers? I need their first names. Who are the three members of the Jonas Brothers? Miss Weaver, way to go, Miss Weaver, Kevin, Joe, and Nick. Woo 
Larry Curley and Mo. <laughs> Not quite T Sharon. <laughs> What TV shows main characters are vampire brothers, Stefan and Damon Salvatore? What TV shows main characters are vampire brothers, Stefan and Damon Salvatore? Not Twilight. Vampire Diaries. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Who is the most overweight generation? Boomers, Gen X, or millenn millennials? Who is the most overweight generation? Boomers, Gen X, or millennials? Miss Weaver, millennials. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop, whoop. Let's see why the reason they say. In fact, the millennials are now on pace to be the most overweight generation in recorded history. I guess it's because there's so much fast food or something like that. Think about it. Years ago in the pioneer days when they had to grow what they ate, cook what they ate on a campfire. I don't think I ever saw fat women. <laughs> I didn't see fat people. But today, there's a lot of fat people out there because there's too much junk food too readily available, I guess. And, you know, I'm talking about myself, too. I love to snack. What is the most important issue for younger people today? What is the most important issue for younger people today? Not money. Global warming. I'm going to take that, Miss Weaver, because it the answer was the environment. So global warming goes right hand in hand with environment. So I mean global warming. So way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Do young people save more or less than their parents did? My screen is trying to time out. I'm going to have to check the settings on my camera. Thank you for that, Connie. Do young people save more or less than their parents did? You know, this is not really a fair question. Because T. Sharon says less, Miss Weaver said more. And Kathy 2010 says done, or I don't know if she meant none. You know what? I'm going to give it to all four of you. T. Sharon, Miss Weaver, Kathy, and Gladys. 
because I feel like that was a trick question. Here, I'm going to read the answer to you. They save at the same rate as their parents. However, cost of living has gone up sufficiently. Significantly. I'm sorry, I couldn't see that. So I feel like that was one of the trick questions. They're asking you more or less, but the answer is neither one. Really. So uh, I gave all four of you a point for just even guessing at it. A thumbs up to done. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. What is the average life expectancy of a person born in 1999? How many years do you think they would live? What's their life expectancy if they were born in 1999? <coughs> Gladys got it. It's 80. If you were born in 1999, they predict that your life expectancy is 80 years. I want to live longer than 80, but I was born in a long time before 1999. So. <laughs> and you know I'm just wondering you read in the Bible where some of these biblical characters lived for hundreds and hundreds of years and I'm wondering did they really live that long or did they measure the months the days and the years differently than we do. I've often wondered that. Because there's supposed to be some characters in the Bible that live to be three and four hundred years old. And I'm just wondering, did do they did they measure the years and months the same way we do? Well, that's fantastic, Miss Weaver. And one thing probably they lived longer is because they grew their own food. They raised their own food. They had no preservatives. They had no pollution in the air. None of their food was tainted with the stuff that we eat today. There was no doctors. They had old folk remedies, if they even had that. So sometimes you might live longer if you don't have all that modern stuff. <laughs> the modern stuff may be one of the things that does people in. <coughs> <coughs> Cleaner water, yes. Cleaner air, for sure. What singer brought sexy back? What singer brought sexy back? Oh, wow, Connie, 106. Not Usher. Justin Timberlake, Cindy Sandu. Cindy, and welcome. I haven't seen you in chat 
before now tonight. But it's just, uh, Justin Timberlake is the answer. What is a X -inual? I know I didn't pronounce that correctly. What is an X -inual? Does anyone know? <laughs> I didn't even know we had Gen X's and uh, millennials and all this until now. <laughs> Joanne Dula said, I don't know, but it doesn't sound good. <laughs> Someone born between 1977 and 1983 who doesn't feel like they are either a member of Gen X or a millennial. So I'm going to give that to Miss Weaver because she said someone between millennial and Gen X. <laughs> That's about as close as anybody came. So give it to her. Way to go, Miss Weaver. <laughs> what does to slide into someone's DMs mean? What does to slide? into someone's DMs mean? Cindy Sandu, it's to send a message. Way to go, Cindy. What singer has their fans nicknamed as Little Monsters? What singer has their fans nicknamed as Little Monsters? Oh, Kathy, you're not leaving us, are you? Gaga, Gladys got it. Way to go, Gladys. Lady Gaga. Kathy just said good night all, so I assume she's leaving us. Well, you have a good night if you're leaving. My camera keeps going off. I don't know what the problem is with this thing tonight. And I can't check on it because I, I'll end up losing my live. Will you have a good night, Kathy, and have a good day tomorrow? A Chad is what kind of person? A Chad is what kind of person? And this seems funny because my son's name is Chad. <laughs> okay, Kathy.
I'm going to give it to T. Sharon because it's a, a good looking male, but he's into his looks. Is what it is. He's all about his looks. What does catfishing mean? What does catfishing mean? And it's not going out there to catch a fish. <laughs> it's similar. <laughs> What does catfishing mean? Cindy Sandu is pretending to be someone else. It's like you're pretending to be rich just to get somebody interested in you. Luring them into a relationship with them thinking you're somebody you're not. That's what catfishing is. And I bet there's a lot of people that do that today, men and women alike. True or false? Most boomers have never made a purchase online. True or false? Most boomers have never made a purchase online. Joanne Dula, false. About 90% of purchases are done online by boomers i do a lot of purchasing stuff online more than what i should really but usually it's for stuff that i really need whoop, whoop. <laughs> way to go sandy or joanne joanne doula What show is the dance the Carlton from? What show is the dance the Carlton from? It's uh, not Sesame Street. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, T. Sharon. Way to go, T. Sharon. Yeah, it's too easy for people to order stuff online nowadays, especially when you got places like Amazon where you pay a membership and you don't pay shipping. And, you know, Walmart and a lot of these stores have started programs just like Amazon, where if you pay like $12 a month, they deliver free. Even your groceries for free. What popular TV series are Ross and Rachel from? What popular TV series are Ross and Rachel from? <laughs> Cindy says my brain couldn't think. <laughs> Friends, T. Sharon, way to go, T. Sharon. Little buddy's back at the door. He's wanting another snack. Is it getting a little wet out there for you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Is it getting a little wet out there for you? 
he's chawing down. What is the act of flaking? What is the act of flaking? Nope, not dancing. What is the act of flaking? I remember we've asked this question so many times on our trivias. <laughs> you stayed nice and dry on the patio on your swing. What is the act of flaking? We've lost a bunch of people. We're down to 25 and we were almost to 40 a minute ago. Where'd everybody go? Not doing what you said. I said you were going to do. I'm going to give it to Miss Weaver. It's actually not showing up. And she got two answers and that was one of them. So, yay, Miss Weaver. Way to go. Flaking is when you just don't show up for an appointment. <laughs> what does flossing mean? That made me think of Joan Rivers and talking about when she saw these women with these little skimpy string bathing suits on the beach. And she said they were called, she called it butt floss. Dancing, T. Sharon, way to go. Yeah, where did all our people go? We dropped down. Did we scare people off or what? <laughs> well, I'm going to ask a few more questions and then we're going to tally up, I think. What TV series was based in the town Stars Hollow? What TV series was based in the town Stars Hollow? It was dancing. Flossing meant dancing. <laughs> and Dio, hello, welcome. I don't think I've seen you in chat before, but welcome. T. Sharon got it, the Gilmore Girls. What TV show features the Fab Five? What TV show features the Fab Five? And I've never even heard of this show. I've never seen it. Can't you plug it in while you've got it on, Linda? I do that to my camera sometimes. It's plugged in right now. T. Sharon, straight guy, eye for the straight guy. It's queer eye for the straight guy. But 
You got it close enough. T. Sharon. What network was I Carly on? <laughs> What network was I Carly on? Nickelodeon, T. Sharon. Way to go, T. Sharon. Whoop, whoop. What was the first video played when MTV aired? A, in the air tonight. B, video killed the radio star. Or C, thriller. What was the first video played when MTV aired? A, in the air tonight. B, video killed the radio star. Or C, thriller. T. Sharon, way to go. Whoop, whoop. It was Video Kill the Radio Star. <laughs> okay, we got about eight more minutes of questions, and then we're going to tally up. What social media app allows you to look like a dog? <laughs> what social media app allows you to look like a dog? T. Sharon, Snapchat, way to go, T. Sharon. Woo -woo. Name the tattoo artist who also has a popular makeup line. Name the tattoo artist who also has a popular makeup line. Okay, Gladys. Name the tattoo artist who also has a popular makeup line. I've never heard of him before, but not Ed Hardy. T. Sharon, way to go. Whoop. You still got food in your bowl, little buddy. What percentage of the population is made up of Genzers? A, 16%, B, 26%, C, 36%. T. Sharon got it. Way to go, T. Sharon. Whoop, whoop. I'm watching the clock, y'all. Little buddy, what are you doing? keeps running between my feet.
Which fast food chain has a character named the Hamburglar? Which fast food chain has a character named the Hamburglar? McDonald's, Miss Weaver. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Name the owl hamster hybrid toy that learned English as you played with it. Name the owl hamster hybrid toy that learned English as you played with it. Furby, T. Sharon, way to go. Whoop, whoop. Who is the main character? In the Hunger Games. Who is the main character in the Hunger Games? Miss Weaver. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop, whoop. It was Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> and there's pause in the garden welcome pause in the garden i didn't see you pop in and sandy whitaker well i'm glad you could make it sandy What 50s drawing toy was usually popular with young boomers? What 50s drawing toy was usually popular with young boomers? Etch a sketcher, Miss Weaver. Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop, whoop. Name the Mafia movie starring Marlon Brando and Al Pacino. There goes my camera again. Don't know why it's doing that. Godfather, T. Sharon. Way to go, T. Sharon. Time is it? We're getting right down to the wire. What is clickbait? What is clickbait? Connie, you should know this. <laughs> I told you that's what I used the other day. T. Sharon got it. False headlines. What TV show is Joni Loves Chachi a spinoff of? This is the last question, y'all. What TV show is Joni Loves Chachi a spinoff of? Happy Days, T. Sharon. Way to go. Whoop, whoop.
I think we played long enough. I don't want people to get thoroughly disgusted with trivia when I drag it on for three or four hours. So six or six, five, 10, 15, 20. Okay, here's the tally. Gladys had six. Miss Weaver has 34. T. Sharon had 25. Kathy 2010 had five. Vegan Menu won. Shatika had one. Kathy B one. Cindy Sandu two. And Joanne Dula one. So we know Miss Weaver is gonna be wearing those earrings. <laughs> Way to go, Miss Weaver. Whoop, whoop, whoop. She's got the earrings, y'all. She's got the earrings. They're really pretty. Y'all congratulate Miss Weaver. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to be still be praying for your sister and praying for Anna Mobile Home Life. We're going to be praying for Ann Watson, Connie, Gladys, everybody else that has health issues. We're going to be praying for everybody. I'm glad all of you could come into my chat tonight. And see, I didn't yawn through the whole thing, did I? <laughs> Thank goodness for small favors, huh? So, again, I, want, I appreciate all of you coming in the chat. Um, congratulations to Miss Weaver for winning the earrings tonight. I know she'll like them. She'll love them. You needed them because you only have one pair right now. <laughs> well, good, because you're going to get another set. You'll get them in a few days. So, okay. Like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you from coming in to chat tonight. Love all of you. I've got such, such a good group of people as my subscribers. And I appreciate every one of you. Y'all have a blessed night. Have a blessed day tomorrow. Watch for my video that'll be posted sometime in the morning. And uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.